Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up my uh, black pheasant tail nymph. This is tied on a jig hook. It's uh, one of our favorite patterns. I, one of my favorite colors is black. A little black pheasant tail is been a very successful fly for me over the years and black is a great color, one of my favorites. Let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. We're uh, tokens, we get some 60 degree jig hooks, size 12. In the front I put a hot pink uh, tungsten slotted bead on the front. The rib, I'm going to be using some Semperfly 0.1 millimeter hot pink wire to complement the bead. Then we'll be using some 8 dot black thread to tie with. I'll just get that round on my bobbin properly there. Then uh, the body, the tail on the body, I'm going to be using some black pheasant tail fibers. The collar, I'm using some Togan shadow dubbing that's in that dark shade. Doing this a little different than the uh, Frenchy nymph where we have the strike trigger with a different colored thread. This is, uh, shadow dubbing is kind of a long fiber, kind of like a soft leech type material I would say. And a lot of guys are just dubbing that right onto your, your threads and working that way and just wrapping more of a collar. I like to use it as more of a hackle. So what I've done is I've taken my work scissors, heavier work scissors here. I didn't use rough work, I don't use my good tying scissors for that. And then I chop it all into about one eighth little uh, fine dubbing. Very fine, it's short. So that way I can make myself a nice little uh, collar with that in the front. The way I like to do it, so let's get a hook in the vise. Tie one of these black pheasant tail nymphs. And here we go. The bobbin always does that when I bring that camera out. There we go. Jump off, jumped off the rails on me when I was laying on the table here. So I start my thread. Get her laying down. We we put more in behind. Kind of get a bit of a dam in behind. Create a bit of a taper on that after the the lead. And down there, bring in some of that hot pink wire, get that out of the way. My pheasant tails, what I like to do is just come in to the side, I can get, I can see how many I'm pulling off there. Pull them off that way, then the tips are very nice and true, straight. Sometimes when you cut them off, they don't get them quite straight. Do whatever works for you, that's the way I do it. Then I'm going to wrap my body up with pheasant hurl. Very nice material, very buggy looking. Some good turns on there. Cut the butts off. Throw in a half hitch. Now I'm going to reverse wrap the uh, wire to make it a little stronger. Hot pink wire also gives it a little more coloration in there, seg segmentation or whatever. Just good to match your colors up if you got the threads to do it. If not, use gold or whatever whatever you have available. Now, I messed up there. When you bring the camera out, funny things happen and I cut my wire off. That's the way I've, I've done. You can use a dubbing loop on there. Let's just do that because most of you don't have a rotary vise, I'm sure. So let's bring in a, I'll tell you a dubbing loop. Bring in a dubbing loop spinner. We'll do it like we're going to do it on a standard vise. If I do that, I should shorten this up a little bit. There we go. Just a little short. I can get a few turns on that. Then I'll take some of my dubbing. Oh. Stay up there. Get my dubbing in there. Up the uh, dubbing loop. 
tighten that right down. So that's more typical what you're doing with a standard vise. And you see how you're getting a really nice buggy dubbing on the front here for your hackle. And if you get anything a little longer, just pull it off. And then just tie that dubbing loop off right there. Cut that thread out. Take my black thread in behind here. Several turns. Tie it off. Now that's a nice soft material. It's got lots of nice colors blended into that uh, dubbing. There's even some hot pink in there. I noticed some greens and darker shades and so forth. Just gives it some very leggy, buggy appearance. And the water's going to look really, really good. Um, that's a fly that will produce very well for you. So you can hang that under an indicator. You can uh, fish it naked with uh, long full sink lines. However you want to fish it, sink tips up and higher in the zone. But the, the black is, is a great color. And uh, when you're tying flies, I know there's lots of neat colors out there. Black's a color that kind of gets overlooked many times and it's uh, very successful. So thanks again to all our sponsors and thank you again for watching. Don't forget to become a member of Sports Fishing on the Fly. It's a great resource for tying videos and uh, TV shows. So catch you again real soon.